Good morning. This is Ronnie with Bike Talk. I need to come up with the intro. But for right now, I'm just getting started. And check out my YouTube channel. This will be my fourth video uploaded already in two weeks. I want to do a quick bike check. And I have to be quick because i got to get on the trail. <clears throat> I got the Specialized Rock Hopper. This is a known hardtail in uh, cross country. And uh, I would guess to say intermediate off-roading. Because full suspension is really taking over as far as the mountain biking thing. People are coming more um, quick to jump to the full suspension. Before getting full suspension, we had hardtails. I mean, that's what you had. You didn't even have really shock forks until, <clears throat> I want to say, the late 80s. I'll have to check on that. Don't quote me on that. Just, But anyways, I have specialized rock hopper. have aluminum pedals you can check those out in one of my other videos i have a three by setup with a lizard skin chain protector um this is the sport model so it did come with a little bit more upgrades in your entry level one or i think this is the third model of the lineup actually there's one above this and i think that's the expert maybe there's a couple more but this is my bike. Um, I absolutely love it so far. Things I have to get changed are the front forks. These are Suntour. Everybody needs knows these coil spring forks. They pretty much come on every model besides their upper model, which is near thousand plus um, when you bought it brand new. Um, and I would say I'm gonna have to go to a one by setup because on the trail I do not like rapid firing through gears, and it's really annoying to me. That's a preference thing. Um, I don't know. It's just what it is. And for my helmet, because I have not done a video on this and I don't think I need to, I'll just tell you right now, this is a full guard helmet. Um, it's a little bit older. I've had it throughout the years. It's um, Bell makes it. Um, it's not made anymore. It's really nice helmet it's got a lot of ventilation it doesn't get too sweaty unless you're out on like a hundred degree day and uh it has a appropriate not a clip chin strap a real uh cinch strap and i think that i that's one of the biggest reasons i didn't upgrade is because a lot of them now are coming with the clip and they might have some two or three hundred dollar helmets that have that set up on them but that one has the motorcycle cinch plus the snap so I'm gonna keep it for now because it's a good helmet and until I wreck really hard, I don't see a point in replacing it. It's my size still and it works great. And I'm gonna hit the trail until next time I have a new product or um, another out on the early morning or evening ride. I'll see you later.